Welcome back to another episode of Show Me Sherry. Today I have something completely different. Well, I have my very first trend sign that I'm bringing to the channel. So we have a trend sign box, which is so much fun, but I decided to not just do the trend sign box, but a little Tory Burch haul. Yep. So here's the deal. This is the first year that I have ever shopped the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I know, I know, right? I just didn't know about it. I didn't know it was a thing. I wanted to bring y'all my very first Nordstrom anniversary haul, which I plan to do, but I haven't received it. I don't have a Nordstrom where I live, but I did order online during the card holder special dates, and but I don't have that yet. So I'm sure that that will be coming at the end of the month. However, what I did hear about the anniversary sale was that um, Tory Burch is always a star, the star of the sale, one of the stars of the sale. There are many I have since learned. Um, so, but everybody was talking about how there was no Tory Burch this year. So then I got wind of Tory Burch having her own sale. So coinciding the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So I decided to take advantage of that. Everybody's talking about Tory Burch. So I decided, you know, we're gonna open this Tory Burch haul together and just see if we like it and if it's worth it or not. Luckily, this is free return, so I can send it on back because I can guarantee you, I'm not keeping all this. I just wanted to bring you a little taste of Tory Burch since I couldn't do it with the Nordstrom anniversary sale haul coming up probably the end of the month. So maybe we should get that done and out of the way and then we'll dig into this Trendsend box. First off, I wanna say welcome, 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 thank you. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I always enjoy making these videos for y'all and love the feedback that I get. If you're new here and you haven't been here before, um, welcome to the Show Me Tribe. I'm so, so glad you're here. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us all. If you like these kind of videos, consider giving a thumbs up to the video and possibly even subscribing so you know the next time that I bring you another fun video. Today, we're gonna to be playing with clothes and accessories. That's my favorite. I hope it's one of yours too. All right, so we uh, will get into these story birch boxes and just see what this is all about. All right, I'm gonna move my Transcend box and ignore the mess behind me I am doing some research for a video that I want to do for y'all next, next month. So yeah, there's all kinds of makeup stuff. It's an upcoming video. I think I'll just dig into the big heavy one and we'll go from there. All right, so the packaging is pretty impressive. I will say, I mean, even the box is kind of impressive. So let me let you see the packaging has a little thank you signed by Tori Birch and a nice um, logo label holding the wrapped paper together. But is that worth the money? I don't think so. Oh, her boxes are super colorful and fun. All right, the very first item is large. I believe these are a pair of boots. Try them on if I can get them on for y'all, but I have wide calves and I have my suspicions that these are not gonna fit. Like I said, I love the packaging. It's very colorful. Has Tory Burch's logo. Comes with a dust bag. That's impressive. These are so cute. All right, leather. Oh, you can smell. The scent of leather hits you as soon as you open this box. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so these are rider boots that I got. And um, I can tell you they are not gonna fit me. They have a zipper right here. So the zipper doesn't go up all the way. I don't know how you can possibly get your leg in there if it doesn't go up all the way. But it has a really nice sole. These are really cute, but I know they're not gonna fit me. There you go. I would love to have a pair of black riding boots, but I just haven't found the right ones yet. I thought maybe these might be it, but I don't believe they are. So these boots are the calf leather riding boot. Perfect black color. I got a size seven, which is 
probably too small. It must have been out of my size. Okay, it's called the T Hardware Riding Boot. And that's the perfect black color, size seven. The prices weren't included on the packing slip, so I will add that in as I show you items uh, down, not down below, but on the bottom of your screen. So yeah, these are really cute, but I am pretty sure. I'll try real quick, but I really don't think I can get into these. No, that's a no-go. Okay, well, those are going back. I kind of figured they would. I just wanted you guys to be able to see them. Let's get into the next box and see what we have. I hope you guys can see me. I'm kind of standing pretty far away. Okay, again, we have the presentation, the same presentation as we did before. Okay, this is a bag. So this will fit. Looks like we have the Kira Small Top Handle Satchel in Daphne, in the color Daphne, rolled gold for the hardware. And it has a suggested retail price of $598. I've never held in my hand a $600 bag before. I can guarantee you I didn't pay that. Okay. So let's undress her. Introduce you to Kira. It has that roll, rolled gold hardware, a twist lock closure. It is very luxuriously soft. You open it up and there's a decent amount of room. Here's a dust bag that it included. There's a decent amount of room in there, more than I thought there would be. Oh, it has a chain strap with it. As you can see, it opens pretty wide in there, pretty wide, has a zipper inside, has a zipper in the middle, and then has another compartment on this side. And it has a slip pocket in there. The hardware is beautiful. I love the strap. Um, it's a very good quality, very, very soft. I love the color for autumn. A nice little satchel handle. This is a really nice bag. In fact, it has a slip pocket that's great for your cell phone. Um, I can definitely feel the quality. Let me attach this and then I will um, try that on. Hang on just a second. Here is the Kira satchel bag in Daphne color. It's so cute and this is adjustable. You can definitely make it a lot longer. I love the chain detail on this bag. That's just so pretty. It's very easy to carry. Love the color for the fall. Yeah, this is a this is a winner. Now, my only question is, how much was this? Depending on the price, because I don't think it's worth six hundred dollars. I would never pay six hundred dollars. No way, no how. But. Uh, yeah, this is a nice purse and it is a good quality. So I can see why people do like this brand. There's a lot of substance, a lot of substance to this bag. Beautiful color, chime in and let me know what you think of the Kira. Okay, so let's get in the other box. Okay, I have Miss Kira put to the side safely and now we're gonna open the last box. It's been so many weeks ago since I ordered this, I don't even remember what's in here. The same thank you card. This one looks like it has two bags and two pairs of shoes. All right, we'll start with the shoes. Eleanor Heeled Loafer, Croco Emboss. And the color is Leccio, Leccio, L-E-C-C-I-O. Oh, it's a green pair of loafers. Here is the Eleanor Croc Embossed Loafers in that Leggio green color. It has the rolled gold hardware on it, like the Kira purse. A nice little heel. Looks about, oh, two inches, I would say. Very, very nice uh, quality feel. Can definitely smell the leather. And these are a size eight. So I will see if I can get those on. Let me grab the Kira. All right, here is the Kira up against the loafers. It's not the same shade of green, but from your foot to your waist, 
I think that would be complimentary. What do you think? Is it too off? All right, these are so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and open the other pair of shoes and then I'll do the shoes try on and then we'll do the bags. All right. So the next pair of shoes are Miller Cloud Shearling Napa Leather Flip-Flops. They're a size seven and a half. The color is caramel corn and buttermilk. Oh, these look warm and toasty for the fall season. There's the Miller sandal. It has the shearling all on the inside. It's very, very thick. Would be very worn. This is thick. It goes all the way down. I like the color. It's very neutral. Here is the height of the shoe. It looks like it'd be very comfortable. And it's a seven and a half and it says Tory Burch on the bottom. Let me see how bendy. Oh, yep, yeah, it is bendy. So that would be that would be comfortable. All right, I will try these on as well. Hang on just a second. Okay, so I have both of them on. Um, they both fit. These Miller Cloud uh, Shearling sandals, they are comfortable and warm and cushy. I do like those. And the Eleanor Loafers, those look super nice. I like those. That would be great for like wearing dress pants and going to church or some business event that you might have. I'm gonna walk in them and see how comfortable they are. Okay, they're both very comfortable shoes. They both fit me like a glove, even though one's a seven and a half, one's an eight. Um, I did the right sizing on both of these shoes. These are super cute. I will put down on the screen below how much they were. All right, let's move on to the bags. The Kira I thought was a good bag. I thought that it was a lot larger than what it appeared to be in the photo, which is a good thing for me. All right, so the first one we have, it's a black purse. Okay, here we go. Here is the black purse. This purse is called the Miller Small Shoulder Bag. And like I said, it's color black, has the nice long strap here. Um, I like the I like the shape of it. It's not super deep north and south orientation. It's more east and west, but it has a little bit more um, height to it than what I generally like. But this is what I want to know: is there room? If you spend money on a purse, you need to make sure it's going to be the right size for all the stuff that you like to carry. Oh, it has a nice magnetic closure that's covered in leather. I will do a close up. Here is the Miller handbag. It's a really good size. This looks like a little bit more shiny of a gold than the rolled gold did. Um, it's soft and supple, not as soft as the Kira. This is more of a pebbled leather, not that quilted leather. Look at the strap. So it attaches like a belt instead of a clippy. That's even more secure, I feel like. Okay, so let me get it attached. And you have the nice long strap. The inside, here is the magnetic closure I was talking about that has the leather wrapping and it's dark in there so you can't see. But it's a pretty good size. Like I can get my whole hand and all the way up past my wrist inside there. It has a zipper pocket right here on the inside and right underneath is a little slip pocket. No pocket on the back. This is just a really nice, sophisticated, classy purse. Now it's on to the last bag. I do remember this one because I remember it being super cute, but I was really worried about the size of it. It looked really small in the picture. And that's why I ordered the stuff in. You can't tell a lot of times by the pictures. Again, it comes with a dust bag, just like all the rest did. Oh, I never even noticed this. But the dust bags, they have a gold Tory Burch logo medallion. Back to the bag. So this is called, this bag is the Robinson Woven Plaid, I am a sucker for plaid, convertible shoulder bag. The color says Tempranillo, Tempranillo Multi. 
and the suggested retail on this guy is $498. Why are these bags so expensive? It's really cute. You know what? I did not tell you how much that black bag was, or not was, but the suggested retail price, which no way, that was $448. Is there gold inside these? Are these made with gold? <laughs> They're so expensive. Okay, here's the Robinson convertible shoulder bag with the plaid. That is leather stitching. That is not material or threading. That's leather. It's got the cute little brushed gold Tory Burch logo on the front. It's the flap style. Oh, the magnetic closure is a square. Oh, that's a really good magnet. Okay, so it has a good amount of room on the inside. I can get up to my wrist in there. It has a slip pocket on the inside. It's got that big area right here. Then it has a nice zipper right here on top. So you can put more things in there. And then it has another section. I'm liking the burgundy lining in the purse. I think that's really nice. Did you guys know that they make little purse lights that you can drop in there and then you can see what's in there? I think that's genius. Um, it does have a slip pocket on the back for your cell phone. Actually, as small as it looked, this is actually larger than what I expected. This is really pretty. Okay. And the colors of the stitching on this bag are like a golden, like a muted golden yellow, a navy blue, and a rust. So it's perfect for autumn. It comes with a chain uh, shoulder strap and it's a toggle clasp. I have never seen anything like this on a bag before. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It just toggles on there. I wanted to show you the bags. Here is the nice plaid Robinson bag with the amazing chain strap on this one. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I really like this. And then I have the Miller, the black Miller. It's long enough to do a crossbody with, just a simple sleek black. This would be a timeless bag for sure. It's not trendy at all. It's just a smooth black. This would last you for years and years and years. Probably wouldn't need another black bag for a long time. All right, so, and then here's the depth of this one. I really didn't show that. So it's a little wider on the bottom, but skinnier at, at the top. Very pretty. Very pretty bag. No feet on it. And then the Robinson also doesn't have feet on it. But again, just look at this chain, this chain detail. It's almost like jewelry, it's so pretty. These are cute bags. I can see why people are gaga over Tory Burch. All right. So that is my Tory Burch haul. Um, all of these things were deeply discounted or I would not have purchased them. You can give me your opinion if you think something is worth the price or it is not. You can feel the quality in the bags. It just depends on that price point. All right. So I'm going to change the camera view and then we're gonna get into the Transcend box. I'm getting hot, y'all. It's summer. I know it's not summer in my house, but I'm kind of hot. I think the clothes and the accessories get me way too excited. Whew. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about Transcend before we open the box. Transcend is a personalized styling service by trained fashion experts with a distinctive eye for curating outfits. They are in-store stylists, not computers. That's awesome. Now, I prefer to get mine from the warehouse. I feel like there's more of a selection. So I hope that this is a good one. I haven't had a Transcend box for a long time and it's the first one I'm bringing to the channel. So keep your fingers crossed. Transcend delivers the Evereve looks that you love right to your door. Evereve is a brick and mortar store. It's actually a chain store. The Transcend boxes comes out of Evereve stores or their warehouse. To start, you will take a style quiz. 
so your stylist will get to know you. You can order a box whenever you like or set up recurring shipments. So it's not necessarily something that will come every month unless you want it to do that. You can just order one here and there when you feel like a refresh for your wardrobe. You'll get two to three hand selected looks curated by your stylist. You'll have five days to try it all on. You check out online, use the prepaid return shipping envelope to send back the items that you don't want and shipping is free. Not everybody does that. It's a $20 styling fee, which is applied to your purchase. If you keep anything in the box, that $20 is applied. You'll save 10% on your entire purchase when you keep four or more items. And I do have a link um, that I will put down below in the description bar that will give you your first box for a dollar and 20% off everything, every item in your box. So that's a good deal. Might as well try it once. Just cost you $1 for styling fee. And then if you like anything, it's 20% off. Okay, so, and that would also give me 20% off on my next box. I saw a little note here. I didn't realize that. So that's, that's nice. Okay, so let's get into the box. I'm kind of off camera for this. Okay, here's the return mailer that I told you about. And then this is the pricing sheet. All right, Sherry, happy Trendsend Day. Thanks for taking the time to always leave feedback. It is truly appreciated. I'm sending you a few pairs of denim styles and one pair of shorts. The weather is hot, so shorts are always a good thing to have too. Have fun styling it all on and let me know how pieces are fitting. Enjoy the sunshine. Take care, Ruth. All right. So I'm going to open this um, pricing sheet so we can, oh, it's not a pricing sheet. Okay, so I guess the prices are on the tags. This shows what outfits that she styled. So it looks like she has four different outfits picked out for me. Looks like I have three bundles. I see denim. I see some funky black and white stripes. Where's Waldo or uh, Jailhouse Rock? That's what it reminds me of. All right, let's do bundle number one. All right, y'all. We're going to go with the funky black and white stripes. Jailhouse Rock in this. It kind of hurts my eyes. Does that hurt your eyes? It's got some shoulder pads. I haven't worn shoulder pads since the 80s. I didn't, I didn't know shoulder pads came back. Oh, wow. All right, it looks plenty big. So it is um, sleeveless, or would you call that sleeveless? It's got kind of like a football shoulder to it. I don't know, it's cute. It just, the pattern just really hurts my eyes. All right, so this is by Ever Eve. It's a size extra large. This might be too big. Depends on how it, how it runs. So it's the Laney Stripe Mixed Tank, black and white, size extra large for $58. It is soft. Let's see what it's made out of. All right, this is 96% rayon and 4% spandex. It is soft though. Okay, and then she sent, <laughs> no, no, no. She sent some black shorts, but like, is that even two inches? It's black. I don't think you can tell. There is the inseam right there. That's got to be like two inches. I'm pretty sure these will fit. They have a smocking elastic waist. You know, look how big that will get, which I'm sure they're very comfortable and they are kind of crinkly and I like the fabric. I really am digging these, but they're just too short. They're a size extra large too. The Mara gauze short, that's the, that's the word I was looking for, gauze. They're very gauzy, $68. Yeah, um, no. Next, okay. If you hear a clinking, I have my ceiling fan on. It's hot, oh, I know what I need. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's much better. Much, much better. I love this thing, y'all. I forgot I even had it, but you probably won't be able to 
hear me. Let me just wear it for a minute, cool off. We got another black and white. It's another sleeveless top. This one isn't as busy as the other one. It has some tacked down cuffed sleeves. It's a lot thicker than the other one. This is, this feels very cottony. Um, scoop neck. Oh, it's got a front knot. I'm not big on front knots. I, I feel like it adds bulk in an area that I don't want to add bulk to, but we'll see how it fits. This is a size extra large again. It is the Zora Stripe Twist Front Tee for $58. 100% cotton, I thought so. All right, as much as this feels good, um, yeah, you're, you're not gonna be able to hear me and my earrings are clanking against it, so. All right, what is this? These are unusual. Um, first of all, they're not gonna fit. They look a little too small. They are wide leg pants, very wide leg. They have back pockets. They have front like pork chop pockets. Those are nice and flat, so that wouldn't add bulk. The, the coloring is very unique. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's, it's stretchy too, so I don't know, maybe it would fit. It's a size 32, that's not gonna fit. I'm like a 34, I think. 33, 34, I don't know, whatever, 16. So I don't think these will fit. Whew. Beth wide leg pant. They're on sale. Yeah, they're normally priced $138. They're on sale for $109.99. Okay. Yeah, that's a little too high. What is it made out of? 31% hemp, 29% cotton, 23% polyester, 15% viscose, and 2% spandex. They are stretchy, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to wear them. All right, hopefully bundle number three is a good one. Okay, what do we have here? What? Oh, it's a shirt. I thought it was a skirt. I thought this was a mini skirt, y'all. I'm like, these people do not read my feedback. All right, I don't do it off the shoulder. I don't like, um, I sound so negative. I don't like to be negative. I like to look at everything positive. I like the color. I like the gauziness. Um, I just, I don't have a strapless bra and I'm not sure I can find one that would fit nice. And it's cropped. I, I don't do cropped. All right, I guess for giggles, I'll try it on, but I'm warning y'all. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. And last we have a pair of cut from the cloth. Oh, I didn't tell you how much that shirt was. Oh, it's on sale too. <laughs> it's been marked down three times. I'm not the only one that doesn't like it. The Mira pleated gauze off the shoulder. It's originally $88. It's from Evereve, right? It's from the Evereve brand? No, it's from Ronan Ryan. Originally it's 88, then it was marked down to 64.99, then it was marked down to 44.99, and now it's 19.99, size large. Gold color, and what is it made out of? Hundred percent cotton. Okay, so back to the jeans. These are cut from the cloth, high rise Connie, fab ab skinny, ankle skinny, size 16. I wonder if these will fit. I think I wear a 16W. They are stretchy, look at the stretch. They have the back pockets. They're sustainable and eco-friendly. They're the skinny and they have the raw hem. I do enjoy the raw hem. Do you guys like the raw hems? I kind of do. And you know, if things are just a little bit too long because I have short legs, I can just cut them. It wouldn't look any different than what they look like now. Okay, so yeah. I think that the length is too long. All right. Well, I was really excited about getting a Trendsen. I haven't had one in a long time. 
and I don't see anything that's standing out. But you never know. You never know. So I think my best shot is one of the black and white shirts. But we'll do a try on and see what y'all think if I can get into any of these clothes. And some of them I'm not even going to try. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, I'm back with the first outfit. Um, I tried to put on this Roan and Ryan shirt for y'all just for grins and giggles. Um, but yeah, no, no. You know, this is really stretchy, but down below, like there's no give at all. So I didn't want to tear it because I knew I didn't want to keep it with my shoulders. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a no. I can see why it's on sale. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, so I've been wearing a 16W. Y'all, that is coming from a 24 size. So just so you know. So uh, I've been wearing a 16W and um, these are not, these are just a 16. I did get them on miraculously. Uh, but I think I'm getting close to the 14W, but I'm not quite there yet. So I'm not sure what a 16 is. I guess it's just, just maybe not as curvy. I don't know. But I have the cut from the cloth jeans on. They are um, the Connie Anki Skinny. Anki. They are the Connie Anki Skinnies. The Connie Ankle Skinnies, they're too long, first of all. But I could cut them since they have the raw hem if I loved, loved them. But I really don't. I don't need any skinny jeans right now. So I'm going to pass on this. This shirt is the Zora Stripe Twist Front T-shirt. I can see why they sent extra larges in some of these shirts. They fit more like a large. So I will uh, back up and let you see it. I'm just not a fan of this knot. It's just like, you know more bulk, more bulk. It's like screaming, look at my tummy. No, no, no. I don't want to look at the tummy. So anyway, I'll back up and let you see it. I don't mind the pattern. It um, actually isn't super busy, so I don't mind it as much. So I don't mind the pattern. Um, it's not as busy. I just, I don't, like I said, I don't like this situation right here. Um, it fits pretty good. It's a little, it's a little thicker than what I like to wear in the spring and summertime, but it's 100% cotton, so it, it would um, breathe. It's a breathable fabric. Um, and then the cut from the cloth ankle skinnies, like I said, um, they, they look like they're glued on me, but they actually are comfortable. They're not like super tight. They're very stretchy. Um, I think they're cute. I think they're really cute. If you're just a little bit taller than me or don't mind cutting them and you're looking for some skinny jeans, these are comfy. So, yeah. Now, I told you I'm not doing, <laughs> I'm not going to do those shorts. But I'll try to get into the wide leg pants, but I'm not going to guarantee anything because there are 32 and I do not wear 32. But I'll try. And if not, I'll just put these back on or I'll just put on my regular shorts and try on the other black and white striped top for you. Right, I'll be right back. Miracles do happen, y'all. Don't ask me how. I got these pants on. Now they're really tight, but I got them on. Um, and the shirt. So let me tell you about the top first. This is the Laney Stripe Mixed Tank. Um, it's the size extra large and it's too big. It's just, it's too big. This shirt is just an optical illusion. Doesn't this mess with your eyes? But I gotta tell you, it's so soft and it's comfortable. Um, I like the fact that it goes um, vertically here instead of horizontally. Horizontal over here, it just looks very slimming and slendering right here in, this, in the front. The shoulder pads aren't bothering me like I thought they would, but like I said, this is just, this is just too big. Um, but it's comfortable and that one is $58. These pants are the Beth Wide Leg Pants. They're a 32 size, and those are by Ever Eve. Ever Eve brand, and so is, so is the shirt. Um, yeah, I don't wear a 32, so I'm really shocked that I got this on. Uh, 
Okay, she says the Beth wide leg pant is for all heights and can be a crop or a full length pant. On me, it's a full length pant. Sorry about that. Um, she said they will relax, so give them a minute when you first try them on. So I guess they expand. Hmm. Uh, the Zora Stripe Tee is another new style. So this is a new style. Um, yeah, these pants are like super tight. I don't think they're gonna relax. I don't think they're gonna relax as much as they need to. Um, I will say, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I'm digging the wide legs. I really didn't think I would like them. But for fall, I think these are really cute. And I will say they're very comfortable. You know, I got them on and I'm still losing weight. So what do you guys think? What do you think of this wide leg stuff? You know, it's, I just, I don't know. I mean, is that trending? Is that cool? I'm, I, you know, I just, I just buy what I like. I don't know what's in, what's cool, but they're, they're comfortable. Um, I think 10, 15 more pounds, this would be really comfy. All right, I will back, I will turn around. It does have kind of a stretch all the way around, including the waist. And my waist goes in quite a bit, so there's no gapping, which that's nice. Of course, they're painted on me right now, so I don't think anything would be gapping. I don't know. They're growing on me. I don't know how that is, but they're actually growing on me. The shirt? No. It's, just, it's, it's too big, and it's just, it really messes with me. Don't you just feel, like, hypnotized? I do. <laughs> but there's how the shirt looks. Um, the whole outfit. Okay. Well, there's not a lot to wrap up here because I can't get into the mustard gold shirt. I'm not getting those shorts on. There's just no way that's way too short. But um, so it looks like the only, the only two items that would even be in the running would be these two. So basically we're down to only the the jeans or the wide leg pants. I don't know. Comment down below your thoughts. Um, let me know. I just, uh, I'm kind of disappointed. I really look forward to when I get a Transcend box and this was just a dud. I'm just not, I'm not a fan. Um, I do surprisingly kind of dig the wide leg pants, which I'm shocked, but I don't know. So let me know. Let me know. I'm just going to wrap it up here instead of sitting down doing a, I'm just going to wrap it up here. Um, yeah. So, so I hope you liked the Tory Birch haul that I brought you. Um, you know, it was very awkward trying to do it like with the bed, with all those boxes, but I gave it, I gave it my best shot. I hope you guys could see everything clearly. Um, I hope you're able to see all of me in the clothing. Don't fret. I have two more clothing boxes that I'm going to be filming in the next two days. I have a front door fashion coming and a JB style. I am really excited. All right. So until we meet again, y'all, Godspeed and many, many blessings. Bye.